This is Barack Obama and his family on Robben Island, uh, and where he does indeed uh, go to see the cell in which Nelson Mandela was incarcerated and in which indeed he blames his tuberculosis. But it is, it is impossible to get away from the significance and the symbolism of America's first black president here in the corridors of the very prison and at the very cell in which Nelson Mandela was incarcerated. No, that's right. It is deeply, deeply symbolic. There is a sort of shared history in a way, and, and many people here in South Africa, even if they may not agree with all of his politics, are seeing President Obama almost as a successor to Nelson Mandela on a global scale. Uh, that's not to say that he hasn't had his detractors, though I have to say here in Cape Town we haven't seen the demonstrations on the scale that we witnessed 24 hours ago in Johannesburg, in Soweto, when President Obama was addressing young people there. But nevertheless, it is deeply, deeply symbolic. Uh, Africa's, South Africa's first black president, critically ill in hospital, and Barack Obama, the United States, the first black president uh, coming to visit here, a man who both men have broken through sort of glass ceilings, racial bars that, that held them back in the past. And so it is being seen as a, a very, very significant visit, as I said, given heightened poignancy, given the critical state of Nelson Mandela's health.